see camera angles, it's like a fucking trailer shot, music, sun snapping, away from fade to black. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, oh, yeah, she doesn't look too bad. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property twice. Aggression, weird. insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. But insulting behavior isn't really fucking. I mean, maybe maybe in this place it is, but I am ready to cooperate with him. Truth comes at a cost is something I feel like he would say. But just for the sake of what I would say, just to get Listen, out of the situation. Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? <laughs> You'd be better yeah. off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I, I guess he did actually. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more someone. advanced questioning. But I have again, no doubt about that. Haven't Good night, Mr. Pierce. Murder, yeah. Just for the fire. Which you did kind of saw. Mr. So. Pierce. The truth is. Yeah, and I guess I would. We meet at last. What do you mean? You do that quite a few times, but I don't. Oh shit, oh he's got a medium. Oh yeah. Here we go, he completely fucking saves me, that's great. Oh boy. <laughs> this is getting more and more interesting, like holy shit. Um. Oh. I am the one men name Leviathan. So is just a man. Because, because of the scale of, of my terrestrial form. But as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. Yeah, so scales is definitely in Cthulhu then. Which I came to share with you. Oh, is that giant squid thing. Instead. <laughs> what? Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. <laughs> Valid sanity. <laughs> Why does that require sanity? Why does that require like a busted sanity to, to submit? Uh, I feel like I, if I was in this situation, I'd try to speak with all things considered, but. I feel like this is the first step towards, like, do I fucking submit here? Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's see if I can become a fish man. Your mind has begun to expand. <laughs> this will affect your destiny, of course. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. Okay, so the Oracle is completely it is there. your curiosity and your faith that have led you up to this moment. This you are here to no, access the one and follow the path. Yeah, this is a moment where I get to join the cult. Alright. 
This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those oh, with such decisions. rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit yeah, so to make it able sense. to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Yeah, because it's not your power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Wait, what? Oh, she... She's a... <laughs> oh, God, this is... Alright, yeah, let's fucking... Let's go full Cthulhu. Where is the Oracle? That was a weird fucking effect. Is she not the very object of your quest? She even say. I'll let you like see for yourself. yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. So the ending's already been chosen. Right. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. <laughs> Maybe when I see you.
kill it. The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Maybe if I go inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. I'm gonna get this in. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'm gonna say that you know some magic shit. Find it in the street, first, second into the glyph, alright. So what do I do? We do destroy the glyph again? The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Alright, okay, so I'm just supposed to hold the thing up to it like I did with the symbols in my cryptic dream. Where the fuck, dude? There's a little fucking fuck. Now I need to get down to where he there he is. Okay. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Sarah, it should react to the light if you use your lamp. Calm the fuck down, bird. Glyph. Oh, there we go. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is ready, Sarah. Run! Stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Oh, I can just blind these things. Well, that would have been fucking helpful if I knew it the first time I fought it. Fuck. That is what I'm doing. Um, there's an area just down there. Yeah. Oh, I've fucking been there. I've been everywhere. So what the fuck is it? The second clip must have appeared. Let's press on. Can I, can I just zip it? 
here. The symbol must be here. Look closely. Ah. That is what I'm doing.
you hear something? I can hear him. He calls Why couldn't you just like the line of the fucking No! Enjoy our hospitality. Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, really Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell <laughs> Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one uh, nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? You're gonna be allowed to break. But now is oh, some goddamn kind of idiots. No, I can just sleep off my thing. But I feel like something would happen here. Because this feels like the moment that someone breaks in and breaks me out. Right? But the only option here is to sleep. That seems like a fucking lame option to take right now. That, that seems like the lamest thing you could possibly do is just sleep off the thing. And now the cops are all gone from the prison. Wouldn't that be the one time you'd have some weird event come on that I'd get out of prison and do a prison break? Right? Right? Because like the whole island's off me and plans to kill me. No? I just. Meant, I'm just meant to sleep? Seriously? Uh, whatever. Whatever. It shouldn't even be a dream sequence. Of course. Then I just end out of here. Truth seeker. Oh, that's the same thing. I find you again. I'm not moving backwards. I don't wish you I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. I change the truth though. As your mind expands and finally <laughs> understands the true nature of the world, your perception is changing. Shit, I should have checked my mentality. That's Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, um, <laughs> gee whiz, what will I choose? Whatever will I choose? <laughs> it's like they're all wildly different too. <laughs> oh man, that was such a fucking hefty decision, like, choice to fucking drop on me, and this is the fucking, <laughs> what is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, God. It didn't even say anything, it just... Follow the path of the ultimate I didn't even say anything. Survivors. 
I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Your life yeah. not easy. The villagers. Me. I just got rid of them. So in other words, I just became a villain now. I'm on, I'm on Kazuki's side and everyone's against me. So she all along was against Kazuki. She probably would have allied with me here if I chose a different thing. But fuck it. I can become a cool fisherman. I can't go to sleep. There's no way you could have stopped Kazuki though. There's no fucking way. I just want my Cthulhu dad. This cold science. Then I wake up in the hospital bed alive. Whispers in my mind. Peering in I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. <laughs> Feels like this is kind of just showing me how everyone's going to live after my decisions before the end. What happened? Come on, see what from these now. Two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Oh Seems shit! Seems like someone decided to grant oh, you your shit. deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse, they killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. God, you Spill play it. a lot of different characters. We've got in this one. nothing to do with it. Strength loss, of course she is. Punch one on the left, punch one on the right. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No! Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. Noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. So is this happening in real time? Yeah. I feel like it They've is. done nothing wrong. Apart from Everything killing a cop been. on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. It did seem odd that I didn't just beat the shit out of them like this many people just beat the shit out of the two of them.
in previous games, there's always been either people who are in the cult. If someone had like told me that one day okay. West's work would kill him. I just don't believe it. There wasn't really many other sides to the story. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Is there nothing else to... I guess this whole room. We came from here. Why is she doing investigations? Why does anyone other than like the fucking investigator actually do investigation shit? Like fucking what? Why? Down the stairs. They would do it really well too. Just like you does. So what? Are they supposed to be a pro? The others are just kind of fucking random people. Um, come on, where's the fucking... So this is where West was killed. What's that? Yeah, what is that? Little dagger. What the fuck Ring. is that? Okay. Where did it come from? <laughs> there he is. The thing that showed me way early for some reason. Is that a mask? Or is that his little? Yeah, that's his fucking face. Interesting. He wasn't alone. Fucking Cthulhu face. Who were those guys? They all have her. How the fuck? These guys are real fucking. The one with the fish thing. Not like human hands though. That's pretty cool. Like trying to be with all cute, like mini Cthulhu's without wings or talons. There's only one man who smokes these Gaspers. Fitzroy. That's why we're still gonna fucking that guy. He's gonna be one of them, isn't it? You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Segment? Holy fuck. Next one who comes close gets one in the head. They fucking like zombies, what the fuck? So what, cat just rivals whatever I choose? So if I chose this, I would be like finding like random fucking uh, people. And she would be helping the call or something. God, this is, this is real fucking interesting.